Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's such an honor to have Anna Wintour introduce me. And, and I have to say, your impeccable grace and poise and confidence is a constant source of inspiration to me. So thank you so much. I admire your tremendous contribution to fashion and culture, and I'm so grateful to call you a dear friend. Um, and thank you, Adweek. Thank you so much for bestowing this incredibly prestigious award um, on me and allowing me to join the ranks of today's most inspiring visionaries. Um, uh, just thank my husband, who I'm really excited to just start my life with. It's been a really incredible journey and, you know, getting to know you and to be married to you. I just feel so lucky to, to be a part of that every day. And of course, having my daughter is, you know, one of the best things that ever happened in my life. Um, when I look back on the path it took me to get where I am today, I think about the little girl with the big dream of the future. And so many ways, I had no concept of what I was aiming for, but I knew in my heart and I trusted in my instincts. My goal started out, um, as you might think, for me it was a big goal, but my goal started out as a little girl was to win the US Open, um, and just one. <laughs> And that was a big goal for me from a girl from Compton. So at the tender age of three, I began my journey. I was blinded by passion as I practiced in Compton. And all those years later, once one thing always remained the same. Um, once you set your goals, always aim higher. I have to say that hard work and dedication are the cornerstones of success. And if you believe in yourself, even when others are doubting you and society is pushing you down, it's so important to always have that self-belief in yourself. I stand here and I can tell you, I know what it's like to be overlooked um, as a woman, as a black woman, but I never let anyone define my potential by my gender or my color. I continue to raise my voice in hopes of breaking barriers and making it easier for those coming up after me. And one thing that I truly, truly believe in is that the success does not define a person. It's how you successful you can be after you fall. A lot of people that truly inspire me are those not who are wildly successful, but those who are wildly successful after they fell and then they came back to be super successful again. And that's what for me fuels a successful brand and a person. Lots of brands do not know how to make it on the first time. I know as a professional athlete, as a tennis player, as I stand here as Serena Williams, <laughs> I guess I can't put that in quotations because I am Serena Williams, but <laughs> I just did. Um, <laughs> but I know my first time um, as a professional athlete, I lost in less than an hour and to a, a person who, you know, n who I don't think anyone in this room can remember, but I never stopped with trying or believing or believing that I could reach my goals. Also the same thing as I started my fashion company, it didn't happen instantly with success, you know, somewhere in between winning Wimbledon's and winning the US Opens, I also never stopped believing. Um, the art of failure for me is not limited to athletes or entrepreneurs or even seasoned executives. It's open to everyone in life and part of the journey for me is taking a fall and dusting yourself off. But I would like to say that above all, um, it takes a tremendous amount of humility to be great. In my own life, I'm happy for everyone's successes, even when they're my competitors. <laughs> and honestly, I find inspiration from their accomplishments. Um, I see the success that thrives around us is there to give something that we can push each other and set our goals higher than the day before. So for me, it's all, it all started with that little fire in my belly that honestly, if it hadn't been recognized by my family, who is not here tonight, but I'd like to definitely thank my mom and my dad, and of course, my sister Venus, who I'm obsessed with. Uh, <laughs> Um, if they hadn't recognized that der determination in me, I would not be here today. And now as I stand here before you guys as a mom, um, it is important for me to empower the next generation and find that fire in themselves. And that's what the S grant is all about. It's about, 
empowering and challenging individuals to feel bold, strong, sure of themselves, but most of all confident in who they are. And our S logo, which you have been able to see, is meant to be for everyone to at a glance just recognize it and just be able to relate to it and just take that S and, and pick up out a word for them, what that S means to them. Mine is sure. Sometimes I just feel, I know it sounds crazy, but I need to be more sure of myself. You know, when I step on the court or if I'm designing, I want to be sure that I can be successful and I can succeed. And I feel like if everyone can take that S and just find a letter for them, it can really just help people grow. Um, <laughs> I want to thank you all for being here with me tonight, and I want to thank you, Adweek. Thank you so, so, so much for recognizing me with this award and being inspired by my journey. So thank you so much.